One of my favorite things about Bethesda House is the wide range of people that we get. So you might minister in five minutes to someone from the street, and the next minute it's to a child, and the next minute it's to a mother, and I absolutely love that about it because it always keeps you on your toes. And one of my favorite stories is to a man that I would never have expected to come in. But one night when we were doing our awake outreach on Wednesdays, a man came into the art stall. And he sat down in front of me, and I was so intimidated because he was a large man with a large voice. He was like four times bigger than me, easy. And he just looked skeptical. He kept staring at me, and he just kept asking questions. And um, just he kind of seemed uncomfortable, so I was just making small talk with him. But I was very intimidated. My heart was pounding. And I was just sitting there praying, Lord, give me a picture for this man. Let me say something to him that means something. And so I got this simple little picture and I painted it and kind of like sheepishly slid it across the table to him. And he looked at me like, what is this? And I started explaining it to him. And within like two minutes, his eyes started welling up with tears and the Lord was just like, like touching him so deeply. And my heart just like broke for this man because he needed that love and he needed the love of the Lord. And um, yeah, it was just amazing from talking about coffee to try and make this man comfortable to him, like welling up with tears because God said something so simple yet so profound to him that he realized God knew who he was and loved him. And that touched me so deeply that I always pray for him to come back because I just want to talk to him again and again. And yeah, I'm just thankful that I get the opportunity here at Bethesda to minister to people like that and to have people like that come in every week that need to know the Lord. People you would just see on the street but never expect to come in and appreciate a small piece of artwork. Um, God can speak through art and speak through things that are yeah, seemingly insignificant. And yeah, this man left touched and changed and said he would come back.